What's up, people? Well, if you would have asked me that this morning at five o'clock, I would have said, not me. Oh my goodness, I have to share this with you all because it happens to all of us. Last night, stayed up a little later than I wanted to, and so when I came to bed, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take a couple of those melatonin gummies. And they were so good, after I popped two in my mouth, I popped another two in my mouth. Not a good idea. Don't do that, by the way. So five o'clock comes around and here I am in bed thinking, oh my gosh, not right now, Lord. I need more sleep. I slept through like a rock. As a matter of fact, I had one of those melatonin hangovers. So boom, I got to get up. I get my husband ready for work and what in the heck? And so I make the coffee, get his lunch on the way, and it's 5.30. The whole time I'm messing around in the morning, I'm thinking, I'm going back to bed. There's no way I'm going to be able to continue on with this day. I'm just going to go back to bed. And then the other side of me is saying, don't go back to bed. Pray. Because if you don't start your prayer, your day is going to be all messed up. And then I go, well, I could sleep for an hour. And then I could get up and still pray and, and meditate before my podcast, blah, 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 blah. So I just said, okay, I'm just going to do the next best thing. And I made my coffee. I walk upstairs and I pray right here. This is my little worship spot in my bed. Not always the smartest place to have prayer if you're tired. So I come into the room, the blinds are closed and it's dark. It's 530 in the morning and all I hear the bed saying is, come lay down on me, just go to sleep, go to sleep. And so I say, all right, I got the coffee in my hand, do the next best thing, light the candle. So I lit my blessed candle and I sat down and I tried my best to keep awake. My eyes were so heavy, you could even see them, like the lids are, are sitting on my like <laughs> rims of my eyes. It was like little weights were on them. I was so exhausted, my mouth, I could barely even move. I knew I had to do the next step, which was put myself in the presence of God and then renounce all of this laziness and slothness. And, and I know I have to say that out loud because Satan can't read our thoughts. He needs to hear us speak it. So I'm sitting there, I could barely move my mouth. And I finally mustered up the energy to say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind the spirit of sloth the spirit of tiredness, the spirit of laziness. And I command you to go to the foot of the Holy Cross for Jesus Christ to pour his precious blood on you and to receive your sentence. And then I feel this movement in my spirit. I'm waking up a little bit. My eyes are still closed, by the way. I cannot seem to open my eyes. So then I go through my litany of thanksgiving and I start thanking God for all of the beautiful blessings in my life, which always brings me out of a funk. And I say that out loud, too, because I want the devil and all those evil spirits around me to know how much I give everything to God, how I know everything that I have in this life is his gift to me. And then all of a sudden, my eyes open. I don't even think about opening them. They just open. And so, lo and behold, I am now into the moment, and I feel God's presence. And so I begin my meditation and my meditation is always on the daily readings. And guess what? I go into the daily readings and the Alleluia and the gospel is stay awake. <laughs> you don't know the day or the hour that the Lord, the Son of Man, is coming. I mean, come on. The living word is so beautiful. Everybody who isn't reading scriptures in the Bible, I recommend it highly. And that's what I meditate on every single day. So my podcast, I get into more depth, which is at realityreflections.com. But I had to come live to you all to just say, wow, just making those next correct decisions and giving it to God and renouncing that slothness. I'm telling you, it was like a, it was a melatonin hangover. I had no bodily energy at all. I mean, my eyes still, I'm not wearing makeup because I'm thinking I'm not putting anything on these things. They're so, <laughs> they're so swollen. But 
that's what we need to do if we just make the next best thing and keep taking those steps to God and fighting through those distractions, fighting through that lethargy, fighting through everything, going toward God, he's going to give us the grace to get through it. So I hope that all of you take some time today to thank God and maybe pray if you haven't. I'm going to get in the car and go spend a little time with God. I'm going to Mass. I didn't make it to Mass this morning, but that's okay. I'm making it to noon. I will take all of your prayers with me. And I just want to say I love you all. Oops, that was me. I went the wrong way. I love you all. And just know we all fight these moments. And it's just what we do when we react to those moments that matters. And remember, God's given you the grace. He gave the grace to St. Paul, asking three times, take this thorn out of my flesh. My grace is sufficient for you, brother. I got this. Also, let's pray to St. Monica today for all of those people. It's her feast day for all those people who are falling away, who are not having a deep relationship with God, who think that they don't need God, who have left the church. She's such a force, and I know a lot of people have prayed the St. Monica Novena that ends today, but if you did not know about it, just pray to her today for her intercession to take your children, your family, your friends to Jesus. All right, everyone, have a blessed, prayerful, and awake day. Stay awake. Do the next best thing. Take care.